Welcome to the Nintendo Power Zone guys, it's your boy Nice One and we are back with a brand new unboxing video and today is November 29th, 2019. So it's Black Friday and this was Funko's Target exclusive Black Friday release and I have thoughts and feelings about that but we're not going to get into them. Anyway guys, I'm just really happy to have this. Uh, this is the first time a 10 inch Funko Pop in the Pokemon line has come out before the 4 inch version. So the 4 inch Eevee isn't coming out until next year. Uh, I think around February and that's crazy to me because it hasn't happened before when the line started they started with the 4 inch Pikachu and then they moved on to the 10 inch and then they did the Bulbasaur and then the 10 inch Bulbasaur and so on and so on until we had a complete set of both 4 inches and 10 inches but this Eevee is breaking the mold and yeah I'm super excited that they've done an Eevee because last year was a big Eevee year with the release of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee and Eevee is getting a whole lot of love and I'm hoping that because Funko has released an Eevee pop that they may go ahead and continue the A Day with Pikachu line but swapping Pikachu for Eevee so instead of A Day with Pikachu how about a night with Eevee you know what? I am just going crazy here because yeah I would love a line like that anyway we have the 10 inch Eevee and guys let's go ahead and take a look at the box from all different angles because I can't wait to get this guy out of the box Alright guys, we got Eevee out of the box and I am really impressed. This Funko Pop is big. Yeah, it is just a 10 inch Pokemon Pop, but for some reason, this Eevee looks like it went ahead and Gigantamaxed. guys but take a look at it because this is one of the best designed Pokemon pops I have seen in a hot minute up until this point I would have to say that Bulbasaur has been my favorite in the entire line because it was the most representative of what we see in game but this Eevee pop is right there with it in terms of just capturing the authenticity of the Pokemon this absolutely looks fantastic I love the ears I love the pose and I love the little fruffles that it has around its neck area. This is a well designed pop. Even the black eyes don't bother me that much on this pop because I just think they did such a fantastic job. And I love how he's got like the spiked hair at the top. This is very cool and uh, we're going to be able to tell you that this is a male Eevee very definitively as we look at this thing from different angles. But just taking a look at it head on, I am really thoroughly impressed. This is definitely the cutest of the Pokemon Pop, and it just gives me hope that if Funko does a Night with Eevee line that follows up the A Day with Pikachu line, that they're going to be able to do some really excellent sculpt work for Eevee and maybe some of the other Eevee Lucians because I feel like if you're going to do an Eevee line like that, you might want to throw in some of the Eevee Lucians as well. Anyway, I'm talking about a non-existent product that I'm trying to will into existence because I hope Funko is watching these videos and paying attention to what I as a very big Pokemon fan want. But enough of that, let's get into the figure itself. Let's take a look at it from different angles. Alright, taking a look at Eevee from the side, you get a nice look at its tail. And that's what's important here. I told you we were going to be able to tell you whether or not this was a female or a male Eevee definitively. And you can tell by looking at the tail because I think as of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, female Eevees have 
the uh, yellow tips of the tail shaped in the form of hearts, very similar to how female Pikachus have their tails tipped off to look like hearts as well. So guys, this is definitively a male Eevee. Sorry ladies, but it's still cute, right? Alright guys, it is comparison time, so I went ahead and grabbed the 4 inch Funko Pop Waving Pikachu and take a look at it standing side by side with the 10 inch Funko Pop Eevee. The Eevee is massive, I told you guys, it is a Gigantamax Pokemon and I love this size comparison. I love this Eevee man, the build of this Eevee is just absolutely fantastic, but when you see it next to a standard 4 inch Pokemon Pop, it just really holds its own. Take a look at the design, the sculpt work. You see a whole lot of stuff that you don't see on the smaller pop, which is really awesome, man. And that's why we got to do these comparisons so that you can see what things look like when you scale them up or scale them down. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and move on with comparison time. All right, check it out. We brought out the other 10 inch Funko Pop Pokemon figures and take a look. We have the 10 inch Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Pikachu, Charmander, and this brand new 10 inch Eevee. And these are amazing. So check it out, guys. These are your five Gen 1 starters. And I know that Eevee shouldn't really count in that line, but with the advent of Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, you now can have Eevee as a starter Pokemon. So I'm going to consider him a Gen 1 starter as of right now because, man, he deserves it. He deserves the love. It's nice to have a second series mascot. It seems like Pikachu was putting too much weight on his shoulders. So Eevee said, hold my beer and I got this bro. So now we have a secondary mascot to the Pokemon franchise. And I don't think you could have found a cuter representative other than Eevee. I mean, check it out. It looks absolutely phenomenal standing next to these other Pokemon. And standing next to the Tennis Funko Pop P uh, Pikachu, it looks way better. I hate to say that, but it does look way better. Now, I was holding out in the hope that they would release a 10-inch uh, waving Pikachu, but I am not disappointed with a 10-inch Eevee, because look at this, guys. I don't even have room on the table for another one of these guys, and you know that Funko's going to do more, which is absolutely insane, because I don't know how I'm going to display these guys after today, and I have a bunch of other 10-inch uh, Funko Pops, so... I'm virtually screwed. I'm going to need a very large house uh, going forward. Anyway, check it out. They all look fantastic to me. I love this line. I truly do. Now, I think the 4-inch line is nice, but the quality that you get from the 10-inch line is unmatched. And I am always so impressed by Funko's designs when they, when they scale them upwards like this. They just look really good. And these five Pokemon Pops, they really make me happy. All right, everyone, so the time has come. It is score time, my favorite time. Why? Because I get to tell you whether or not something is actually worth your hard-earned money. So this guy is retailing for $29.99. It is exclusive to your local targets. And guys, let's go ahead and start with the appearance as usual. This is a great design for a Pokemon Pop. This is a great design for a Funko Pop in general. They did such a good job to the point where this barely looks like a Funko Pop. If it wasn't for the eyes, it wouldn't be a Funko Pop. And I love that. I like when, you know, Funko goes out of its way to try something new with the Pop line. And I think the Pokemon line has done a fantastic job of utilizing what they can from the traditional Funko Pop line. But conforming it to fit the style of the Pokemon. And that's why the Bulbasaur and this Eevee look so fantastic because they barely conform to the you know to the Funko Pop format almost non-existently conform to it but this I love this this just looks amazing aside from that the scope work that went into it is fairly detailed I love the sculpt for the hair that's spiked at the top of his head that's the way the tail is sculpted 
actually looks really well done the fruffles around his chest all that stuff is really well sculpted as far as its paint is concerned they did a pretty good job of it now mine has a little issue with the glue around the eyes like I had to rub some of it off but that's a non you know major issue I was able to you know get it off easily and not ruin the figure in any way shape or form so there's that uh, and moving on to its build quality this sets the bar for Pokemon pop guys this figure is very sturdy it is hefty and I didn't think it would be considering like the body is smaller than all the other Funko Pops in this line but no it's a really well constructed Funko Pop they've done a phenomenal job with this line in the 10 inch scale and this just takes this line to a whole new level I would like to see them do more Pokemon Pops in the 10 inch scale do other starters from other generations because I would be absolutely about that I don't think we need you know Funko to do every single Pokemon but I think it would be nice if they did the starters for every generation and I'm glad they did Eevee because like I said earlier guys Eevee has been so popular over the last two years because the Pokemon company really decided that they needed a secondary mascot and Eevee really transitioned into that role perfectly I never thought I wanted a secondary mascot for the Pokemon franchise but now that we've had Eevee as that secondary mascot for the last couple years I absolutely love it and I can't believe it took them this long to think of something like that uh, anyway guys let's go ahead and give this thing a final score I love this thing it has a few flaws but nothing that really detracts from the figure too much so I'm gonna go ahead and just flat out give it a 9.5 out of 10 it gets our official Nintendo Power Zone seal of quality and it deserves it Funko has done an amazing job with the Pokemon line and I know a lot of people really hate the eyes but you know what I don't care at this point I am far too committed to this line to worry about things like the Funko Popeyes these Pokemon Pops look great this Eevee stands tall above the rest it is the only one that matches the the level of design that they haven't achieved since they did the Bulbasaur and with more like this I'm certain that Funko could do an entire line of Pokemon starters and that's my hope going forward if they're gonna keep doing Pokemon Pops then I hope they do the starters from every other generation because they would look absolutely fantastic. Also, I really need a Cyndaquil in a Funko Pop format. Anyway, guys, yeah, 9.5 out of 10. It gets our official Nintendo Power Zone sale quality. And yeah, if you want this guy, he's at your local Target. Don't sleep on it. Anyway, guys, it's time for me to go ahead and get out of your hair. But before I let you go, I gotta hit you up with the social media links. You can hit me up on Twitter at nice1983 you can email me at nice1983 at gmail.com you can hit me up on facebook facebook.com slash nintendo power zone if you're a fan of the nintendo power zone podcast you can always download new episodes on itunes google play music stream new episodes on spotify and stitcher radio but if you want to watch the live version of the show you gotta catch us on youtube youtube.com slash nintendo power zone Anyway, guys, if you like this content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the Nintendo Power Zone because we have loads of content like this. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to stay fresh. Deuces!